Hello there, my name is Caleb Wade, and this is Batman the Telltale series. I've been really wanting to play this for quite some time, never really got a chance to, but now that I have it on my PC, and I can record things on my PC, it's going to be interesting. So let's click to begin! Okay. Will I get, like, an options menu? Because I... Uh, yes, my drivers are up to date. Do I... Aha! Yay! I can use my controller. Not now. Let's turn things down a little bit. I think medium subtitles will be fine. Uh, gameplay... I don't think I want that inverted. Yes. And... Yeah, everything looks good. Apply. And... Extras? Codex. Oh, cool! I'll look at these later. I'll read one at the end of each episode, I suppose. So, this is Batman the Telltale Game, and I'm going to start with episode one, because I have all of these. Because I, uh, I got, um, I got this game from, uh, the Humble, Bun Humble Bundle website, which is a great website. They're doing a wonderful sale right now, and what is Crowdplay? Oh! Uh, not now. I, that'd be interesting to do, though. Alright, so... Episode... Uh, I would love to go back and play this with friends. But right now, I'm gonna start episode one alone. It's barely visible. Yeah, it's barely visible. I hate that it's barely visible. But there's that. Ooh, back tech colors. Ooh! Um, torn between purple and blue. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Um, I, I, I love the purple. I like the purple. Purple's my color now. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, ooh, that's so good. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> but, uh, I've been wanting to play this for quite some time because I know that, uh, Laura Bailey does a wonderful iteration of Selena Kyle just for these games. And I played Tales from the Borderlands a little bit. And <laughs> I really enjoyed that. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I think that was my Air Jin voice from uh, Attack on Heroes. <laughs> uh, so, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh. Ooh, Moon and Wayne Tower. Is it Wayne Tower? The Wayne start the Wayne Technologies building. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Okay. We're closed. Hey, what are you oh, Dizzy Dip. <laughs> oh, this is serious, guys. <laughs> That. Yep. Get it open. On it. Those subtitles aren't that bad. I think he's gonna show. Bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, I hope I don't fuck any of this up. Gotham Police. Okay. I would love to see a Renee Montoya. He's green. Alright. The hell? Back up, back up, back up. Oh jeez. Gordon. They're 
on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. Okay. The rest in body bags. Oh. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Ooh. Right in front of the Harvey Dent poster, too. We all know how that's gonna go down. I love that it, that's purple. Okay. B. Or circle, rather. It's all quick time events. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. It's sort of like me, too. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs. Until you shot out of the sky. They need something to fear. Criminals in the city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Oh, oof. He does not look good. Shit! The hell did he go? Where did he go? Whatever got in. Don't let it get out. Why are you crying? I I didn't use RS. I used the uh, left stick. Oh my gosh! Back to back. Circle up. Dude, peeps. you're trying to create a myth but be careful you don't turn into a monster sometimes you need a monster come on come on come on yeah Hiya. I'm using the stick for this. I don't know if I can use the D-pad. I don't want to try it. Nope. 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 Okay. Hey -ya. Ooh. Well, there's that. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Hey, girl. Hey, Selena. Boy. Hey, Dad. Meow. 
Sorry girls, I gotta catch Chase. And my text purple too, bitch. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. It's kinda... okay. Also, I love the wedged heels. Oh boy. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd crossed paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I do this for the thrill of it. I'll show you a thrill. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's dangerous. put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Almost missed that one. Oh crap. Oh, I broke her goggles. Oh. She got me back. Right in the gut. Oof. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Don't shoot, I wanna see this. I wanna see if my boyfriend can kick your ass. Whoa. <laughs> nope. Hey yeah! I go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. What? God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake, 
Or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Just her color, purple. I got you, boo. <laughs> oh, damn. There's that. Mm. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. I don't wanna. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Oof. Well then. Time to save the city. Welcome to Gotham. Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. For too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Oh, wow. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Okay. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again, The opportunity was just too great. <laughs> Together, we will change Gotham. The music is so good. Oh, I like this so much. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? Oh, jeez. I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. Oh, it's... Only a little FaceTime with potential donors. It's so much worse. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? Yep. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... Our, our hope, hope is in Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Are those We're cuts or his cheekbones? Jesus. Yeah, that's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Oh, jeez. A late arrival? Who is this? Oz? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman Hello, of the Wayne Bruce. Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you, but we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference, and that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. 
Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. Oh, you're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. Oh, wow. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Gee, thanks, lady. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only mm. that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Gee, shut up, Harvey. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. Uh, a heart? Oxygen? A social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Especially Harvey. How are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Uh, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh, Carmen no. Carmen Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Oh, Vicky. You gonna get in trouble. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. What? This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. Sir. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. This Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky, squeaky clean image. image. Yeah. 
Let me worry about that. Sir. A word of warning, Bruce? He doesn't like being called a criminal? Nice. Oh. I'll try. I'll be snarky, but yeah, I'll try. Been in the market for a new house. What? Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Ugh. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Hmm. You're a respectable man, I hear. Ah, uh, damn it. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have refused. You should but know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say. But I'm trusting Harvey on this. Mayor Hill. Had... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey comes with me. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... <laughs> what did I say? Okay, enough games. I don't like this. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. You understand? Mm. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. Mm. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under. Oh, I hate this so much. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. <sighs> I hate you, Harvey. I hate you so much. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. I'm doing this with Harvey. We've got going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand the situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. How dare you, sir? And which to break. Yeah, let that sink in. I'll bite my tongue for it's right nice now. That we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. 
A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city still stands. Uh, I hate you, Harvey. Yep. And title sequence. Uh, I hate Harvey so much right now. Batcave? It's me. Batcave. Yo, Ryan. Yo, Tech. Orifying. It's nice and purple. I like it. Whoa! <laughs> Episode 1. Realm of Shadows. Why is that out? she was really after them. Precious marriage to cry vigilantes. Okay, Gotham District, blah blah blah. Um, Sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Okay. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's over over overcrowded sky Whoa. rail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, see what's up. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison. Mental hospital. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. <laughs> the suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. Uh, there's the spare grapple gun, sticky tasers. The newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Nice. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. Come on, I EMP. That woman would have preferred the latter. <laughs> Called it. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. But since his election, violence and guns. I should see if I can refine the edge to be sharper. He was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city. He vetoed it, killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Maybe that's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families. 
walk over to my Batmobile. Hit my ride. <laughs> Take my slogan. Well, that is an invis invisible wall, and that is a railing. So I'm gonna just walk up here, and I think that will be the end of this episode because that was a lot of stuff. So thank you for watching, and uh, I'll. T I'll do I'm really enjoying this game. I'm hoping that uh, more of this will come soon. Bye! Bye!